why you should make bespoke shoes and why I make bespoke shoes, I will tell you my story in this video and we're gonna talk about bespoke shoe making. All edges of faded wool and leather must be very thin so you will not see any difference between surface of faded wool and leather and surface of plastic. It will be like one solid surface. If you are interested in shoe making, this channel all about it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of useful video tutorials that will help you to make your own shoes. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. In the previous shoe making tutorial, I explained why probably most of you are wearing wrong shoe size. And I explained what is the standard shoe last and how to measure your feet correctly to know what shoe last size you need to have to start making your shoes. And if you miss somehow this tutorial, you can find the link here. And by the way, thank you all of you who comment in this tutorial. Although you will know what is the right shoe last size for you, you can use this standard shoe last because your feet are not standard. We all have different shapes. Some of you may have bunions, flat feet, narrow feet, wide feet or large feet or something else. So you can't use this standard shoe last to have comfortable shoes. You will need to make custom made shoes. A quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor, so if you have some clinical problems, make sure to consult your doctor before you start doing something. To make it very clear to you, I want to tell you my story, why I made bespoke shoes, why I customized my shoe last to have custom made shoes. I had perfect size 37 and was wearing these standard shoes. But after pregnancy, my feet changed dramatically. Not, it not became longer, but it became wider. Now I have very wide feet, so I can't buy shoes with my original size. I would need to buy shoes with size 40 to have comfortable shoes. But it much bigger than my feet. It would look ridiculous on my short feet. So I need to customize standard shoe last to have comfortable shoes that will suit my feet perfectly. I can imagine that most of you can relate to this story or may have different story like my students have. And that's why I plan to create a new shoemaking tutorial about bespoke shoemaking. This tutorial will be based on my online bespoke derby course and if you want to know more details you can find link to this course below the video. So based on this course I will show you what materials to use, what special tool you need to have to create bespoke footwear, what techniques we should know and I will give you very important tip on how to start customize your shoes. What are the first steps? So, do you want to see this tutorial? Please comment below and let me know. Now, if you want to see many other tutorials and you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to know when my new video will come out. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!